I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today, we're reading from the book of Joshua, chapter 9, and let's focus on verses 14 through 16. Then the men of Israel took some of their provisions, but they did not seek the Lord's counsel. So Joshua established peace with them and made a treaty to let them live, and the leaders of the community swore an oath to them, three days after making the treaty with them. And they heard that the Gibeonites were neighbors living among them. Let's once again consider Israel's deliverance into Canaan as a metaphor for our salvation. And the land would then represent just your own body, that piece of land that you dwell in. Those former inhabitants would be representative of those former fleshly desires that used to drive you down destructive paths. Once Israel received deliverance by God's grace, they were then commanded to drive out those former inhabitants. In a similar manner, once we have been delivered through the Messiah, we are commanded to drive out the former self and its controlling desires, making everything subject to God and the direction of His Holy Spirit through the Word. And Israel was doing a pretty good job of it. They had the issue with Achan, taking spoils of war, but he was just one guy, and they dealt with him. And soon they were back on the path to victorious dispossession of the land. And then came the Gibeonites. Israel was so naive that they fell for a scam that seemed to be too simple to be a lie. Followers of Jesus, who are immature in their faith, can do the very same things. Sometimes older believers display the same immaturities as younger believers. You see, Satan comes to lie, to steal, and to destroy. And he lies to entice you away from the Lord. And once you fall for the lie, he steals your blessing. Set apart from the Lord's blessing, Satan has effectually destroyed your impact as a believer. Oftentimes, Satan will present a former inhabitant in a new light or even try to disguise it as a whole other thing that the Lord might even approve of. All that he has to do is just get you to not read the Bible. Israel's problem is that they forgot the most important part of their investigation. They didn't seek the Lord's counsel. You may have experienced victories in various areas of morality, but don't ever believe the lie that says that you don't need to seek the Lord continually. He cares about the smallest details of your life. And the only stupid question is the one that you didn't take to the Lord, to weigh it against the trustworthiness of His Word. You know, consider the verse that we teach children, and never forget that we are children in God's eyes. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5-7. through seven. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own understanding. Think about Him in all of your ways, and He will guide you into the right paths. Don't consider yourselves to be wise. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Check us out at groundworksministries.com.